Hi, and thanks for watching this video all about how to make the White Lady cocktail. You clearly have good taste. The White Lady cocktail is another of Harry Craddock's most famous concoctions. The sour is simple and delicious, sort of the gin cousin of a margarita or a sidecar. The sugar in this drink is just to balance, so it really depends what triple sec you use. If you use something a little bit sweeter like Cointreau, you can probably knock back the sugar a little bit. And the egg white really just softens the flavours and creates a nice fluffy texture, um, but it can easily be left out for a sharper and vegan friendly drink. We are in the middle of a gin cocktail extravaganza at the moment, so if that's your thing, and honestly I don't really understand why it wouldn't be, then hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified when new episodes come out. We've also got episodes on Harry Craddock's Port Survivor here if you want to check that one out as well. So before you get started for this drink, you want to squeeze yourself some lemon juice and also separate out some egg white. If you are using a fresh egg, I just like to sort of give it a little chop with a knife or a whisk with a fork just to break it up and make it a little bit easier to control the pour into your cocktail. The White Lady cocktail original recipe requires these ingredients. 50 ml of gin. I'm using four pillars, which is very local to us here in Melbourne. It's from the Yarra Valley. Uh, and they vapor infuse the gin with um, whole oranges as well, which obviously plays really nicely with the orange liqueur and the other citrus flavors in this cocktail. Uh, but again, really any citrus forward London dry style. Uh, so something like Plymouth or Tanqueray works really well. 20 ml of triple sec or curacao. I'm using Marionette Curacao, which is a local orange liqueur uh, made with all Australian fruit and it's really zingy tangy and refreshing, hence why I like using it here. Obviously Cointreau is the most widely available of that style um, and works perfectly too, uh, or something like Pierre Ferran Curacao if you have it. 20 ml of freshly squeezed lemon juice and about 5 to 10 ml of sugar syrup. Because the marionette is a bit drier, um, I'll, I'm going to use a full 10 mils. Uh, but if you're using Cointreau, you can probably knock it back a little bit because it's got a bit more sweetness to it anyway. Obviously, it's for this kind of reason that you should always have a little taste of your drink before you serve it. And then you can give it an adjust if it's a bit too sharp or a bit too sweet. About 10 to 15 mils of egg white. Now, because there is egg white in here, we do have an extra step of shaking. So what you're going to do is pop your two tins together and dry shake, i.e. Not, not have any ice in there and give it a good shake just to get the egg all emulsified. So what that does is just get your really nice fluffy texture started. Then we're going to fill the smaller half of your shaker tin with as much ice as possible. Pop your shaker tins together and shake as hard as you can. As I said, you want to give it a taste and make sure that it's all nicely balanced. Perfect. Grab your coupe glass out of the fridge or the freezer. Pour your cocktail into the glass through the fine strainer. The fine strainer is particularly important for egg white cocktails because if you leave those little chips of ice in there then it's obviously just going to kind of deflate all of that nice foamy head that you've worked so hard to build up. Now the original recipe does call for a lemon twist uh, and that obviously will work really nicely on here. Just lift it all up and give you some nice kind of oils to work with uh, and also get rid of any little bubbles on the egg white but we've decided just to go for a dehydrated orange wheel, mostly because it looks cool. Harry Craddock's delicious white lady cocktail. So now you know. I really like this cocktail because I think it really shows exactly what egg white does in a drink. Um, without the egg white, it's really quite tangy and tart, a bit more similar to sort of your gimlet but with the egg white, it just softens everything down, makes it just a little bit more easy going. Uh, not quite as sort of, um, the citrus isn't quite as obvious. Uh, so I could probably drink about 10 of them, to be honest. It tastes like lemon meringue pie. 